So today we are going to be stuffing $800. So let's go ahead and sort out our money. Okay. Let's go ahead and count it. One, two, three, four. 450, 5, 550, 6, 650, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 750, 760, 770, 775, 780, 785, 790, 791, 792, 793, 794, 795, 796, 797, 798, 799, and $800. So first I am going to be giving myself $100 for my fun guilt-free money. And I will just give it a $100 bill. So then I need to fill up my tracker Today is 1.30. And we're gonna be adding $100. So now I have $200 in my fun guilt free. Now we will go ahead and stuff our sinking funds. For our car maintenance, it's going to get $198. One hundred fifty, one seventy, one ninety, one ninety five, one ninety six, one ninety seven, one ninety eight. So I am adding one hundred and ninety eight dollars. So one hundred and ninety eight dollars and it already had a hundred and fifty dollars in it. So car maintenance now has three hundred and forty eight dollars. For medical, it is going to get $25. So I'll do a 20 and a five. So medical has $25. 70, 75. Ooh, that's a $35 bill. So he now has $125. 
12, 13. Okay. So let's see here. So I am participating in the Budget Moms 2021 Saving Challenges. I'm participating in her February last name challenge. And for this challenge, you take the number of letters in your last name and you multiply it by five. And then that gives you the amount of money that you need to save every Sunday. And then you take that amount and then you multiply it by four. And that is the amount of money that you need to save for the entire month. My last name is really long and I did not want to commit to multiplying the nine letters in my last name by five because I am participating in a couple of other different saving challenges and I do have some other saving goals. So what I did was I adjusted this challenge to meet my needs. So I took a nine letter last name and decided to, decided to multiply it by two. So each week I will be saving $18 with a total of $72 for the month. Because I get paid monthly, I don't always save a certain amount every week. Sometimes I will just knock that amount out at the beginning of the month and that's what we are going to do today. So I had $113 to save. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to go ahead and put $72 towards our last name challenge. I do not have the bills for that. So let's see if I can exchange some bills from some other envelopes. I know my emergency fund has some 50s in it. So my emergency fund. And so we're gonna take these two 50s and give it to my saving amount, savings amount. And then I'm gonna take this $100 and put into my cash envelope so I should still have a thousand dollars. One hundred, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a hundred, nine hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a hundred, a thousand. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can do that from another envelope as well. You know what, we are just going to modify and adjust and that is okay because I do not have the dollar amount. We are just going to stick with giving the last name challenge $60. We can put the rest of the money later. So I'm gonna give the last name challenge $60. So then I will put it in the February envelope. And then I will go ahead and write the date. This is the last name challenge. And this will be plus 60. So my total is $60 in here. So we'll just need to add 12 more dollars by the end of the month, which we can do. Okay, now we are left with $53 to budget. I am doing the 52 week random saving challenge so we can go ahead and use this $53 towards our 52 week random challenge. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Let's go ahead and take the 52, we'll cross out the 52. So let's add $52 to our saving challenge jar. All right, so let's go ahead and add $52 to our saving challenge jar. 52. The one is already crossed off and we are left with $1. So what we can go ahead and do is just go ahead and add that $1 to our February budget mom challenge, the last name challenge. So I'll take the dollar and then I will put it in here. And then I will update my tracker. So 
So now I have $61. All right, well, that concludes today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it motivating and helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can join me on my financial journey. If you have any ideas or anything that you would like to see on my channel, leave that in the comment section below and I would love to make videos on those things. Well, you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching my video. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.